Coca-Cola, and we got oh. some in Springdale, oh. too. We need a little raid or something, <laughs> oh, don't we? Something. Something, yeah. Something. You want to climb that tower, Darren? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Me no. neither, but it's got to be done. Hey, we've got something to, to look forward to tonight. This could be fun. You know, weather's been really quiet here at home recently. We've got the International Space Station flying over tonight. You're probably asking Matt. We get this all the time. We do, but tonight it's the perfect alignment That's of position and timing to get a beautiful view of the International Space Station as it's gonna be coming right over Arkansas. We are dead center in the path. That means, you know, you're not gonna see it off in the distance for a minute. You're gonna see it from start to finish go right above our heads. And the timing is perfect too, uh, because if it's too late into the night, the sun's too much on the opposite side of the planet to light up the solar rays. That's what we see the reflection off those solar panels. That's what makes it look like a bright star. And that's what you're gonna see tonight. If it's too early, there's too much daylight in order to see it. But we made this map to kind of show you who has a good shot. And guess what? That green color showing you those amazing views all the way from northwest Arkansas, right into the River Valley, right into central Arkansas as well, and also south and east towards the Florida Panhandle. But the timing will be 744 when it starts to arrive in that northwest sky. It's going to be right above us at 747. And then at 750, it will start to disappear in the southeastern sky. But it should be a pretty nice view. Coming up, we're going to talk about when our next chance of rain will be. That's coming up. All right, Matt, thanks. President Biden and the First Lady got a bird's eye view of 